We want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays from our Titan family to yours. <laughs>
B12 will help increase natural energy levels and help you burn fat. And chromium can help decrease cravings for salty and sweet foods. A lot of my patients, friends, family members, and peers come to me and ask me, hey Cass, can we use the ECAs to help with not only burning fat and increasing energy levels, but as a pre-workout? And the answer is yes, you can. Taken 30 to 40 minutes before your training session, this can dramatically increase your focus, your energy levels, put you in a good position to burn body fat. So if you're interested in learning more about our ECA therapy, give us a call at 727-389-3220. We would love to help you achieve your goals. So once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy. Now it's time for you to fill out your new patient paperwork. So I want to go over some common questions or even some concerns on the new patient paperwork that some people have brought up. Hopefully this will help you guys fill out the new patient paperwork with ease and you guys can submit it and be on your way to be a Titan Medical Center patient. Let's go over some of these common issues or problems that are happening. First thing is, every line needs to be filled in on the new patient paperwork. When you go to each line, it will have a blank area where you can fill something in. You're going to want to fill something in on every line, but there might be some things that do not pertain to you. If they don't pertain to you, just put NA on there and we'll know exactly what you're talking about when the new patient paperwork comes in. This is probably the most common problem with people filling out the new patient paperwork. They leave one blank space and then they can't submit the new patient paperwork. The reason that we have it like this is because we need to make sure that you fill out all the areas necessary for us to give you the best type medical center customer or patient experience. So the next one, Skype username. If you don't have a Skype username, put NA. If you have a Skype username, you can put it. But if you're gonna use an Apple product like an iPhone or an iPad, you don't need a Skype username. After that, you filled out all the blanks, family history, health history, symptoms, and all of the pages. At the end, you're gonna to wanna to just press submit. Usually, if there's no problems or all the fields are filled in, it's gonna submit with ease and Titan Medical Center should receive it on our end and be giving you a phone call or contacting you about helping you guys out with therapies or services. If you've submitted the new patient paperwork and you have not got a call or a text from Titan Medical Center, please call us or text us and make sure that we did in fact receive your new patient paperwork. We would hate for you to go through this process of filling out the new patient paperwork and for you not to be able to get serviced or get our therapies that you guys want. So please contact us just to make sure if you have not received a phone call or a text message. I hope this has helped and we look forward to having you part of the Titan Medical Center family. Hey guys, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year coming from Titan Medical Center. We also want to say thank you to all of our Titan family out there that has kept us alive for all these years. And we are looking to have a wonderful 2021. So we can help you guys out. Please contact us at 727-389-3220. Hey guys, John here, and uh, usually I'm talking to you guys about our awesome therapies and what they can do for you and how they can help you. So that's just one aspect of Titan, right? So feel good on the inside, you know, you're feeling good on the outside. Now what do you do after that? So you gotta dress yourself properly. You wanna feel good in what you're wearing, the clothes you're wearing. So Titan Medical Center also produces all kinds of great clothing for guys and girls. So we wanna make sure you guys are all taken care of, first class therapies, first class clothing, looking good, feeling good, performing better. That's what we're all about. So let's get into some of the different stuff that we got in. Cause we got all kinds of cool stuff. Now I'm only gonna highlight a couple things. We also got our brand new hats in, fitted, 3930, 
These are awesome. Team Titan on the side, Titan Medical Center. And we've got all different kinds of colors. So when we come in here, I even got Nike ones. So we've got Nike fitted, red, blue, white, all different types of colors for you guys. So if you guys like hats, you like to wear one once in a while, man, these are definitely it, all right? First class, all the way. Um, all right, what else we got? So we've got our new uh, jumpsuits in. Now, I've showed you guys some jumpsuits in the past. I've got some thinner ones. This one is like right in the middle. I've even got some thicker ones. So I've got all different types of these different jogging suits. So you guys can throw it on after the gym or maybe a, you know, a night, you know, breezy at night. You guys can throw this on, look good. Maybe for if you're doing a competition or you just wanna look good going out of the gym or walking around outside. That's all it is. For girls, I got these awesome new tank tops. These just came in. My design's a little bit different. These are next level, really, really good. As far as the print on them, they look awesome. Team Titan down the back, they're excellent. I've got them in a variety of colors. I'm just gonna show you the black and the turquoise that we got in. And we've got more colors of these. So if you guys like these tank tops, you girls wanna look good, you want it to be, you know, feel, feel flexible on you, fit just right, these are it, all right? What else have we got? We've got back in our Titan Strong shirts. These are awesome. Everybody loves these Titan Strong shirts. So Titan Strong on the back, we've got our Titan Athletic logo on the side. And of course, there is no other alternative for Titan Medical Center, all right? We are Titan Strong all the way. So if you guys want one of these, Titan Loyalty, you guys can get one of these Titan Strong shirts too as well. Some of this stuff might not be on the website yet. It will be soon, but you guys can always call or text 727-389-3220 and you guys can get yourself a jumpsuit, um, some of our new shirts. You know, we've got all different types of stuff. If you guys look in this closet, like literally like, and I'm sorry, it's a little little bit, you know, unrest in here, but I haven't been in here. This is my first time in here in a couple weeks. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we got for summer, we've got you covered. For winter, we got you covered. For fall, any of those times in between, spring, we got you covered. So if you guys like to look good and feel good in the gym, or you guys want to look good on the outside, even these baby doll tees, these are awesome. Got these in black and white. These are really cute. The girls love these things. So that's just it. Guys, I got you covered on all different types of V-necks. I've got crew necks and all the colors that we do. So this is just a our regular t-shirt we give out to our patients, which is high quality, very, very high quality. So if you guys want to look good and feel good, then call us or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And of course, we've got all the leggings, shorts. So I mean, we've got all different colors, 14 different types of colorways on Titan Medical Center leggings. We've got some that have pockets. It's really, really cool. So if you guys want to get a gift for your significant other, for yourself, you know, just call or text us, go on the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys can order most of the stuff from there. If there's something you see in this video that's not on the website, like I said, just contact us. So I appreciate it, guys. I got more stuff coming, so stay tuned. Can you believe this decade is already coming to an end? Don't you want to feel healthier and stronger than before? Well, start your New Year's resolutions with Titan Medical Center. We can help you feel better, look better, and perform better. So don't procrastinate. Call or text 727-389-3220 or you can visit us at www.titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And ho ho ho! This is the Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Cupid's Corner Edition, Titan Style. John makes a great Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't realized already, I got the Santa hat on, I've got my red shirt on. You know, I'm not as big as Santa, but I, hopefully uh, I'm the more uh, physically uh, attracted version. He doesn't eat as, just as much cookies as Santa eats, I though. do like cookies, so I could probably could be Santa with all the cookies. All like. those cookies. And ice cream. So at night, instead of kids leaving out cookies, <laughs> they should definitely leave out ice cream, and I'll come by and just eat all up. <laughs> <laughs> 
and no Halo. I want Hagen <laughs> All right. So <laughs> to get in this edition, all right. So let, let's really get down to the nitty gritty. Why are we here today? So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. This is the time of year. Okay. So we are almost. You know, we're a couple days away from Christmas, I guess, here. You guys will probably be seeing this episode on Sunday, so it'll be after Christmas. But we hope you guys are celebrating, you know, the way you guys should be. And what are, what are the holidays, you know, what you guys should be celebrating about. And I think that's a big thing, especially right now with COVID and all the restrictions. Mm-hmm. You know, people are losing track and losing mind of what these holidays are about, what Christmas is about. You know, the traditions that go into this. Every year we celebrate these things. And usually at this time of year, people are more nicer to each other than ever. Mm-hmm. And right now, that's totally opposite. Right. You know, people are frustrated, people are down, people are depressed. You know, just people aren't nice. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know what to say. And like usually this is the time of year when people who aren't nice usually, you know, they give in a little bit. They're a lot a lot easier and then everybody else is really nice to each other and they pull through because it's the holidays. It's Christmas and it's a time of year that we know that giving it, it should be a big, big right. thing for people. So, yeah, so it's, it's just nuts out there. So we want to make sure that you guys are getting together or whatever your restrictions are in your state. If you guys are in a different state, but here in Florida, luckily we're able to get together. Um, so the big thing is, is getting together with your family, right? That's Even if you can't get together with your family, let's just say you have high risk family and they just mm-hmm. don't want to come around or whatever it might be. Take the couple minutes. Okay, or I hope you took a couple minutes because it's going to be post Christmas here um, to, you know, call them on FaceTime, do your Skype, spend some time, get the kids involved. Hey, look at grandma, look at grandpa, get that time in. If you didn't do it for Christmas, I would do it right after the show because it does mean a lot, you know, and they're they're I'm sure they're just upset, just as upset or lonely or lonely that they don't get to spend time with you guys. So, you know, if you guys are in very restrictive places, this is a good time to utilize all this technology we have. I mean, we have all these apps and FaceTime and Skype and Yo-Yo and this app and Bobo, whatever kind of apps there is out there. But there's a hundred apps for you to be able to communicate. So you can't say there's no excuses that you didn't communicate and say, hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you I love you. I mean, you know how long long that that just one little tiny comment goes for somebody? You know, just saying that you love them, that you're thinking of them, they know you're thinking of them yeah. because you took the time to reach out to them. It means a lot. It does mean a lot. And you know, this this time of year should be really, really happy and joyful for a lot of people. And even if it wasn't COVID, it's usually a stressful time of year. And that's because people are going out of their way and they're going in debt to buy a whole bunch of these different gifts or different items for people that A, might not be that priority, that they shouldn't be a priority to them, I guess, to a certain extent where they're stressing out that much. Or, you know, just right now, like, you know, people are hurting, people, you know, are going through trials and tribulations they've never went through before. So, you know, the gifts, I think well, I don't think it's a big, big thing for people. Maybe for little kids and stuff like that, I think that, that should be an important thing. Because they're waiting for Santa to bring those toys, right? They want those <laughs> toys, no matter what. Santa behind the uh, plexiglass. And you can be creative with that, too. So if you're not working with a lot of money, there's different ways to be creative with toys and stuff like that that you can get for your kids. I remember, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I remember my dad telling me like they recycle toys to a certain extent. They give me a toy one year, I, you know, I play with it for a little bit, they take it, put it away and give it to me the next year. I'm like, man, that's messed up, right? So I never done it to Peter, thank God, but you know, that, yeah, lucky Peter. these are certain things, you know, they might not remember and stuff like that, but there's different ways you can do that, even for your loved ones. I mean, there's different ways and things you can do and go out of your way to do um, that will mean a lot to them that doesn't cost a lot of money or for you to go out of your way or go into debt. I mean, it's a, it's a big thing that I see with a lot of people, um, especially this time of year. And it gets them real down. You know, they want to get these expensive gifts and stuff like that for people. And just, you know, that's not what it should be about. It should be really about getting together, showing people love, and what Christmas is all about. Um, you know, I think that's the most important thing in teaching our kids and our future generations what Christmas is all about and not giving toys and getting toys back or, or anything like that, but really the, the true spirit of Christmas. I know that John has embedded that into Peter yes. every year before he gets any presents. He'll say, do you know what this day is about? It is not about getting presents. And so then he would tell him exactly, you know, he's like, he knows it's not about that. You know, presents is the cherry on top, you know, you get presents. But at the end of the day, even when I was growing up, because I grew up a little bit different, I tell everybody this, my parents and my family, we didn't grow up with money. So I didn't get these big extravagant gifts. You know, they got me things I needed. Like it sounds insane, but things I needed like toothbrush, 
I got a few other things that were necessities. And then, you know, there was one little present that I really, 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 really wanted. Maybe a little pair of earrings with an S in it or something, you know, something like that. And my dad would just put it to the side. And after I went through the toothbrush and the t-shirt and the pajamas and the puzzles, I'm like, this is great. Yeah. And then he'd be like, oh, here we go. One more. I'm like, yay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, you know, it's, it, but at the end of the day, I had to go through that. So I know what it's like to not be able to, you know, shower, be showered or be able to shower people with gifts. So you have to come up with other ways. And honestly, the way that we did it was that we spent time together. So that day we watched movies. Back then when you could go to the movies, we went to the movies. Everybody goes to the movies on Christmas. Everybody goes to the movies on Christmas. And if not, we got all the family members together. Yeah. You know, so even in this situation, guys, you guys have to remember there's a, a ton of ways that you guys can still enjoy this little bit of time together. You know, whether it's you put your mask on, because, you know, the mask is a thing now. Um, I know that I've begged John's mom to come over because she's scared to come over with the whole COVID thing. And I'm telling her, listen, put on your N95. You can sit in a corner. I'll put a bubble over you. And you can just sit over there and just watch Peter open his gifts. Yeah. I'm not asking for much. I'm just wanting you present. Yeah. You know, because that's what that that means a lot to me. So at the end of the day, it really is just spending time with your family and just showing them you love them. Because listen, you got to remember, you never know what tomorrow brings. And tomorrow could bring good things. Tomorrow could bring bad things. And you don't know what's going to happen. You it's don't know. True. So, you know, you have to, you really have to cherish every single minute of the day and don't take it for granted because you have no idea what's going to happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, and uh, if you don't have family, so relationship wise, you guys are home together, right? Because it's Cupid's Corner, so you always want to talk about that. What are you guys doing for each other? And like I said, it's not about the gifts, right? You know, are you guys going to make dinner for each other? Or do you guys have a plan for Christmas and Christmas Eve? You know, can you guys go do something? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you guys can do still. I mean, you guys could, and being in the state of Florida, you guys can do a lot of things, right? Outside, inside. For now. Even with, even with the weather being <laughs> at 60 degrees for or whatever now. it is. You guys have so much opportunity out there. You guys can go out to the beach and hang out if you really wanted to. You guys can go by a pool if you really wanted to. I mean, there's just there's so many different things. So I mean, at that point, uh, you guys can experience the outside weather and not experience the snow if you're here in Florida. And that's a big, big thing, trust me. Hey, I mean, it's snow. It's, even in Florida when it doesn't snow, it doesn't even feel like Christmas. It's literally like 85 degrees or 90 degrees. And I'm not complaining for all you snowbirds out there and your, and your driveway is covered in snow. And I'm so sorry. There's even a couple people's packages that were buried in snow. I am <sighs> sorry, guys, about that. But we don't get to build snowmen here. We don't even get to have no fights or nothing. No, no so, snow fights for you. I mean, I want to throw a piece of ice at John. Really, that would be great. Piece of ice. That's, what, that's what I get for Christmas. Oh, cool. I get a piece of ice thrown at me. <laughs> you know, me and John got past the whole thing with um, buying gifts for each other. So weird. It's been a couple years and we haven't, like, bought gifts. Like, I haven't handed him a gift and he hasn't handed me a gift. The whole entire Christmas is about his dad and Peter yeah. and his mom, my mom, everybody yeah. else. We just give everybody else everything. That's all right. When it was about gifts, and don't worry, Sharice is not the person that likes to surprise gifts. It's like, all right, Sharice, what do you want for I Christmas? don't like surprises. So I don't want that, but okay, it's done. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> we and do that, easy, yeah. Very straightforward. We'll, we'll go shopping know? together. I'm like, I want this, like, this. I don't like surprises. I don't know? like and, surprises. And honestly, you don't, for everybody else, it shouldn't really matter what they get as a gift. They should be happy and, and, and thankful for the gift that they get, no matter what it is. If it's your grandma giving you socks, right? Yeah. It's still hard earned money, especially for those old people that are on retirement, they don't have much money. You know, you gotta think about them. So if your grandma, grandpa is doing something, or tell your kids, like, listen, they don't have a lot of money, they're on a strict income. And at that point, you know, whatever it is, you should be thankful for. Still but for Sharice, I want to make sure she always had the best gift. So, you know, I'd always make <laughs> you sure. You don't want to get it and be like, okay, I didn't want, I didn't want silver. Yeah, I want to go. Definitely. So at that point, I always take her. I'm like, all right, what do you want? You know. Like, <laughs> so make been blessed easy. to have that because listen, yeah. guys, it was Christmas where it wasn't like that for us, and no. it was, it was, you know, basically we we needed to get Peter a gift. And that was the main thing for us was priority was Peter, yep. you know, our son. It wasn't about us even getting gifts at that point. We didn't have the money to get gifts for ourselves. And we remember really didn't that. care. I remember We that. didn't care, you know, and that, that's what it's really about. It's like, you know, family, spending time together. Because that time, it, it, it's priceless. You know, getting that time together, that bonding time, you'll never be able to erase that, right? You always get to remember that. That will bring you closer as a family unit or as a couple. You know, the more time you guys spend together in like holidays, you know, you guys will have these experiences that you guys can remember from time over year after year. You can always remember that, even in photos. So the biggest thing I can say for you guys, 
out there, whether you have a family or you're in a relationship, get the camera out. Yeah. You guys all have a camera on your phone. Get a selfie stick. I know it sounds stupid. Get a selfie stick. <laughs> he <right>? does it. <laughs> Take a picture of you guys, wherever you guys are at, because you guys probably won't have somebody that'll be able to take a picture for you. And you and me and Sharice are some days we're like, alright, alright, you know, oh, get the timer, it's shaking. And you might not get the best photo ever. So All blurred, but I'm like, that was a great time. Get a selfie stick <laughs> for you guys. So when you guys go on trips or you guys are at home, you guys can take pictures in front of the Christmas tree or wherever it's at, and you guys can send these off. Even as cards and stuff like that, even if you don't want to send gifts, you can send a card, a really nice card to somebody and state something like that, even if you handwrite it. Think about the last time you really got a handwritten card. I write him handwritten cards. Love cards handwritten cards. So at that point, you know, and, and people are writing these out. Like we did receive some Christmas cards this year, yeah. you know, and I, one that just sticks right off the head, top of my head was Denise Lulas, who's been a patient of ours for oh six gosh, years. Oh my gosh, yeah. Six years or seven years, she's been with us. You know, at that point, and got one from her and her husband. Really, really just great Means people. But things like that mean a lot. And you always remember things like that and cherish things like that. So if you send that out to somebody, they're going to hopefully remember and cherish it the exact same way. And they're probably not getting a lot of those different things. Right? You're getting emails. You're getting Amazon. You're getting Text all this message. stuff. But a handwritten card? Ooh, that's priceless. And if somebody, if you can legibly read that card, that's even better. Because <laughs> me, my handwriting is horrible. So I'm just that all right. So I like right. to type it out better. But these are just some things that you guys can do that will really get the point across to your loved ones, to your family ones. And remember, guys, if you guys aren't able to spend the time with them physically, make sure you're calling them on FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, all these different communication platforms that we have out there. And wish for Merry Christmas. You know, Say hi. happy holidays, Hanukkah, you. whatever it is. I love you. I think that's the biggest thing. I love you. You know, I want to. I wish you were here. I miss you, and uh, you know they'll love that. I yeah. think they really will. So I think that's the biggest point that we wanted to push across to you guys today. Cupid's Corner. Usually we talk about love, relationships, and all these different things. Don't can, forget about that Christmas now bedroom time. If you guys are a couple and you guys are yeah, definitely spending Christmas <laughs> Eve and Christmas together. You know, making some love, maybe some hot cocoa, if that's what you guys like, or no some hot tea for, for, for no Sharice, because she don't like chocolate. <laughs> I hate chocolate. But, you know, you guys can spend some time. You know, make, listen, if you guys do have a fireplace, you guys still be in Florida. Yeah. You got that fire, you know. Or some marshmallows. Dude, something. have some time together. This is, this, is, this is your time. Get creative. This is your time, yeah. Don't just be boring and sit on the couch. Do something, yeah. right? So, this has been another Cupid's Corner for me and Sharice. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Titan style, the way that we like it. And we want to share these different things with you guys. So hopefully you guys have a great Merry Christmas and a happy holiday. So I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. Bye.